good morning students today i'll teach you poem 3 keeping quiet written by pablo neruda now first of all you answer the following questions why does your teacher ask you to keep quiet you may think over this question what are the benefits of keeping quiet and what is the difference between inspection and introspection now the ideas may come to your mind that the teacher asks us to keep quiet so that we are able to understand the lesson so, so that we can improve our concentration these are the benefits of keeping quiet then the question is what is the difference between inspection and introspection inspection is when somebody else comes and judges your actions that is inspection for example if you are studying in a class and teacher is teaching you and principal comes on round then the principal is inspecting our work so that is inspection and introspection is when we judge our own actions when we try to find out whether we are right or wrong then that is known as introspection so now in this poem written by pablo neruda he has written the poem on the base uh, and the theme of his poem is introspection is based on introspection and retrospection pablo neruda was the pen name and later legal name of a famous chilean poet diplomat politician he won the nobel prize for literature in the year 1971 he wrote in green ink which was his personal symbol for desire and hope now students do you know who signs in green ink in your school principal signs with green ink and this man pablo neruda he always wrote in green ink and this was his symbol of personal uh, he was personal symbol for desire and hope his writings are very simple and very lies their beauty now poet feels that some soul searching is needed for us to be at peace with ourselves and with others in this poem uh, the poet asks his readers to think over and in this poem uh, there are no rhyming words the poem is very simple and is written in free verse the theme that is present in the poem is about introspect retrospect and brotherhood among the people of the world the signi in this poem the first line is let us count up to 12 so the count significance of counting till 12 could be that it divides a day in two parts of 12 hours each and another interesting fact about the poem is that even the title has 12 letters in it now let us read the first stanza now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still for once on the face of earth on the face of earth let us not speak in any language let us stop for one second and not move our arms so much so now you read it and try to find out the explanation of meaning of this first stanza so now why does the poet wants us to count up to 12 you know counting up to 12 it is a exercise in meditation now the poet wants us that we should do meditation we and we should be still we shouldn't move our arms and let us not speak in any language now the poet wants us that we should not speak in any language because 
language breeds discrimination and when we will not speak in any language then the people won't fight with one another and we sh should not move our arms so much and uh, for at least for one moment no one shall move his arms either to signal or to fight or to argue with each other. Now, the literary devices used in this stanza, we will, here W sound is repeated, that is alliteration, example of alliteration, and count and still, that is an example of antithesis. Arms, it is an example of pun. It has two meaning here. One meaning is hands and another meaning is arms. Now, questions based on stanza 1. Now, what does count to 12 imply? What does count to 12 imply? You know, the poet commences the session of introspection when stressed out or in dilemma, the best exercise is to keep quiet and begin counting. Then, second question, how would humanity benefit if people did not speak in any language? Language breeds discrimination and linguistic chauvinism breeds domination if for some time no one speaks on the face of earth all these discrimination will wither away in the depths of silence now stanza two it would be an exotic moment without rush without engines we would be together in sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gathering salt would look at his hard hands. Now, what would be an exotic moment for the poet? That moment when the people will stop their activities and that moment of immense peace and universal brotherhood and love that is created through introspection and silence, that would be an exotic moment. Then without rush, without engine. Now without rush, we, now here by rush and engines, here the poet wants to say that hubbub of modern life when there will not be any hubbub of modern life that moment in that moment we will all would be together in sudden strangeness we will all have a feeling of universal brotherhood and peace fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales now when everyone will keep quiet the fishermen won't also won't uh, catch the fish Catch the whale. So here, fisherman is symbolic of man's indiscriminate exploitation of nature for his vested interest. Now, when fisherman is killing the whales at that time, it means that he is exploiting the nature. And the man gathering salt would look at his hard hands. Now, here the poet had created the image of man's incessant suffering in his efforts to add comforts to his life. Now, the people who are gathering salt, they keep on gathering more and more salt. Why? To earn more and more money and in this way to add more comforts to their lives. And during, while doing that work, they have forgotten, they have not paid any pay, any attention towards the pain that they have been inflicting to themselves. So it is not only the 
man gathering salt but here it is the uh, all those persons who are all the time making efforts to add comforts to their life they are not thinking of how much pain they are inflicting upon themselves now the poetic devices without without that is a repetition we would alliteration sudden strangeness again alliteration his hard hands again example of alliteration now questions based on senza two what would be an exotic moment the moment of immense peace universal brotherhood and love created through introspection and silence without rush without engine this expression is symbolic of the hubbub of modern life the fisherman what are fisherman symbolic of fisherman symbolizes man's indiscriminate exploitation of nature for his vested interest what im what image does the poet create in the last line the poet creates the image of man's incessant suffering in his efforts to add comforts to his life he has paid no heed to the pain he has been causing to himself so you should read the poem and we will continue it in the next video thank you